Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying... Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow is... What do you mean? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a cop. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my... And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. The note stated that... But the help Harlow wants is... Why wouldn't Harlow extort your... Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis. Have you helped Harlow since your husband... No. That said... Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? It may sound silly... But those were... Thank you, Miss... Mr. Bickle was trying to... I shall do all I... Very well. Here's the... Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's... Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. Uh, Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a... Please, sir, I'd like to help. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when, you know, I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I... What was in the note? We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I don't... Harlow advised me in no answer. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quick. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeep, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I... Could you give me a bit more detail about the nut? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how... What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this spoke. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind. He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He... I'd lose my job instantly. Thank you for telling me. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. As for Rosie's letter... Understood. 
Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Really? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. <laughs> Rebellion. Agatha's filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Excuse me, Mr. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Uh, but I feared Harlow's retaliation. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, as a surprise for her birthday, one day Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthal. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified. I watched helplessly, lying there. I was shaken to my core. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? Huh. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Natty must be around here somewhere. Rebellion! Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> Ha 
Ratty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Back here. She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. I've had enough of self-control. I never have to see it again. I brought every family center that passed through here. They've never even looked. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Can't say I blame them, what with all I've done there. Be nothing but trouble. Trinkus Totalis. Revelium. Be on the lookout for the girl's friend. If they're daft enough to try to come in through here. It's exhausting, standing here all day, waiting to do Rookwood's work. Revelio. He can fight his own battles. Thank you. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. It's all about uh, having a clean uh, eye. Take me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a nipplers on a pile of gold, or a knobtail to a sow. No, uh, I'm not bragging. That's just the truth, that is. Can't help me natural gifts now, can I? Oi, oh, oh, oh. What are we even doing here? We ought to be at the hog's head. This is a waste of our Revelio. Everyone in Upper Hogsfield shudders when they see me coming. 
and rightfully so. I may go to Hogsmeade later. Patrick is too tense. Come to think of it, months ago I had a grudge. Nice it was. Sparkled like the glint in my eye. When we're done here, I'm going straight to the hogshead. Oh, oh, no centaurs quieter than you. Is that you, Lord? I've had enough of Spellcroft. Hope I never have to see it again. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Friend won't come looking for her. Too dangerous. <laughs> Wasting our time. He must be here somewhere. Revelio. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you I need to help. Revelio. Mr. Rabe. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. She spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly. And we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Rebellio! It must be blocked by something. Rebellio! Accio! In 
Incendio. Rebellion. is somewhere in this room. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Alohomora. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. <laughs> Rebellion. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isko Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabel right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Ah. Uh. I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Rebellion. 